Hello everyone. I just want to make a real quick video showing exactly how to wire a tachometer or RPM gauge for an Evinrude outboard. Now the way this is wired is pretty similar to many other motors, but I just want to show exactly how it's done, where the sending unit is, and kind of how to make this work. So just kind of uh, starting to look in the back, there are three main wires. So ground, positive, which runs through the purple wire. So when you turn the ignition key once, this engages the accessory wire. It's, it's purple on this motor, it could be a different color, but this uh, purple wire is protected by the 20 amp fuse that runs into the controller. So it's not connected directly to the battery without any protection. So this way, when you turn the key, this will provide power to the gauge and this is grounded to the controller as well. Now, the sender wire, this is connected to the rectifier. So I'm gonna explain that in one second, but if you're wondering about some of the other plugs here, for example, this screw here, this is for the light. So normally you'd have this hooked up to a separate switch as you, you don't always want the light on for, for the, so the, the light that lights up the gauge itself. That way if you have a switch and it say it gets night nighttime, you can flip the switch and the, uh, the gauge will now have lights. So that, that's basically all this is, it's a positive for the light. So if you were to even take this purple and connect it to, to the light, it would light up right now. However, you'd have that issue where the light would be always on and now you may or may not want that, but that's just how it would work. Now, the other is the calibration. So as you can see, there's a flathead here, which sets the uh, tachometer to your motor. So what you'd want to do is look online or check your manual and find out what it is. So for example, uh, for the 40 HP 12 amp version, it is number six. For the four amp, it's number five on the motors I have. So this is just something so you know. So the, the reading will be off if you have this essentially calibration setting incorrectly. Um, it, it shouldn't be too difficult on mine to find the correct setting. Also, if you have any other RPM reader or any, anything like that, you could kind of compare it and test a couple different ones if you, you can't find anything online or any paperwork on your motor itself. So you, you should be able to find the, the correct number yourself. Now, so the sender wire or the gray wire in this, uh, in this case, this is what gives the data to the tachometer. This comes out of the regulator. The regulator has a couple wires and you see it has one gray wire. So as the engine starts up and spins, this will be connected. You can see the gray wire here. So this runs all the way to the controller into the engine. And this is the sending unit. So it, it's a very basic setup. Now, if the tachometer is kind of showing the correct data, it could be your regulator or it could be the tachometer, but there really isn't too much to this. If, if, if you kind of have this thing laying around, and you literally just want to hook it up and just see if it worked, see if anything happened. You can kind of jury rig it or hot wire it very quickly and just see if something is, is happening. Um, as I said, there's really only three wires. You don't need the light itself. That's just optional. That really is it. It's, um, it's a pretty basic device to mount. You just need to know the calibration and uh, connect it to your standard power. That's, that's really it. So if anyone has any additional questions or just kind of wonder, having trouble, let me know. But um, it really is pretty simple now. Also, some of the older versions of these, they look more like a triangle. I'll show a picture of how it looks, but, so if you're confused by what I'm holding here, I'll, I'll show a picture of what a different regulator looks like. I also did just want to know one more thing. When you turn the key and the tachometer is hooked up, you will see the needle move very slightly. So this is an indication that it is wired up. It's, it's just a simple thing to know, but if you're turning the key, and you're, you have full system power and there's no movement at all, there, there's something wrong in the wiring. Uh, also, if you're not sure, you, you could always use a multi multimeter or you could touch a positive wire to the light and see if the light lights up as well. So if the light's not lighting up, the ground and everything is checks out, you, you may just have a simple wiring problem in your actual controller and the tachometer might be totally fine. So just, uh, just to note that.